Hello everyone, so today I found this laptop and uh, it was pretty messed up. It came like this, it was just on the sidewalk. So I saw it and I picked it up. It came with a uh, charger. It's free. It was free, so I went ahead and picked it up. I was like, we'll see what's up with this. I did see that it does not have a battery, so no battery. Maybe that's why... They threw it away or something, but it comes with a charger. Um, it comes with this thing. I have no idea what this is for. Um, DVD player here. That's, you know, it's not even installed. Um, this, I don't even know what this is for. Oh, oh, wait. It looks like it's for the DVD player, but it doesn't connect to anything here. It's probably underneath the board, so I'm going to have to check that. This is the back plate. Oh shoot, what was that? Uh, it's, I don't even know what this is for. Yeah, so. Well, I won't be able to figure that one out. Uh, maybe it's something for like here. No. Oh, maybe it goes there. Well, you look at that. I figured it out already. One step closer to getting this to work. But yeah, this is the back up. Oh, shoot. The back plate looks to be an Inspiron 15. There you go. Uh, it didn't come with any screws, so I don't know how I'm going to put this back and, you know, have it, you know. It didn't come with any screws. Uh, no screws at all. They're missing. Hopefully, I can maybe buy them or something if this works. Um, who knows, but... I'm going to go ahead and um, see what I need to boot this up or power it on. Um, for sure RAM because it looks like they took the RAM and they took the hard drive um, from this. Um, they left a Wi-Fi card just sticking out. Look at that. It's just uh, it's just there. But yeah, I'm going to I'm going to see if I have RAM for this uh, and then I'm going to get an SSD, put it on here. Maybe we can boot something up. Um, and see if this works. Um, yeah, let me go get some RAM. Uh, actually, before I look for the RAM and SSD, I think I do have some RAM uh, memory for this. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a speaker. Um, uh, let me see if I can see the screen. See if it's cracked or damaged. So there's the screen. So that's the screen. Oh, it looks like there's a i3 in here. That's pretty cool. I wasn't sure what a CPU was in here, but now we know it's an i3. So it's an Intel laptop. The screen doesn't look too bad. We'll just have to find out if it's the LCD is damaged or not when we power it on, if it powers on. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if uh, you, you need the battery for this to power on. But uh, I just got it in, and we're gonna check for the first time. All right. So I got my SSD here. It does have Windows installed. Uh, Windows 10. I got it out of my computer over here. Right there. Just took it out from there. Got an SSD. Um, I think I paid like 20 bucks for this, 120 gig. That's pretty cool. And then I got some RAM here. They do have some laptop memory because I do have a Dell laptop. So hopefully it's DDR3. So it supports only DDR3L. I believe I do have some, four gigs, DDR3L. So perfect. I have everything that I would need. So let me install this. Bam, and you can put another one so you can have like 8 gigs. Um, yeah, this thing is just popping up. I don't have screws for any of these things, so... Um, hopefully... You know, this doesn't cause any damage. Does this have Ethernet connector? Oh, it does have an Ethernet, so I can use the Ethernet cable. If this doesn't work. Alright, uh, what's next? 
the DVD player. I don't think that's important right now. Like, that's the least of my worries. I don't even know how this goes. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, let me install the SSD. All right, so I now have my SSD installed, my four gigs of RAM. Um, I think that's pretty much all we need to try this out. Again, I don't know if you need a battery, um, but uh, hopefully we don't need a battery. I mean, the power cable hopefully supplies power. Um, this is tripping me out a little bit. I don't know why it just bothers me. But uh, yeah, let me let me plug this in and see if we get anything. Okay, so I have this Ryobi inverter here. It's a 130 watt inverter, 150 I believe. 150 watt, yeah. So I plugged it in. Oh. Okay. The fan is spinning. Let me open this up. Oh, shoot. The SSD just fell off. Oh, cow. Oh, fan is spinning. Oh. No way. There's no way. Okay, let's see what happens. The screen looks fine. There's no damage to it. Oh shit! What is this? At least we got us. Uh, we, oh, bro, I'm freaking, I'm freaking shocked right now. Oh my god, I'm gonna break this SSD. Okay, let me unplug this. Let me turn this off. Oh my god. Let me power this off. I think I'm gonna break this cable. I don't want to break it. So uh, I'm gonna take this off. All right. Remove that. Let me plug this back in. Possibly, possibly got a free laptop that's working. I don't know why. Maybe they threw it away because I have no clue. I can't really guess why they threw it away. But, yo. Okay, it's not powering out anymore. Hello? Maybe I gotta push the power button. Where's the power button? Huh? Oh, we got a light. Oh, there you go. Okay, now I want to see what it says. So let me flip this over. Uh, okay. Alert, you have attached an unauthorized zero watt power adapter to your system. What the hell? Which is less than the recommended 45 watt power adapter. To continue operating at peak performance, your system may also draw power from a battery. The battery charge only... Okay, um... I don't care. I'll buy a battery if they're cheap. Oh, the mouse pad works. Wow. I wonder if the keyboard works. Let's see. Let's continue. Okay. Okay. Okay, look at that. Realtek PCIe family controller. It's covered by one of the most popular. Okay. I think this is when I install the SSD because. We can see if it works or boots. All right, so I pretty much just put some tape here. I Velcroed this SSD down so we can uh, upgrade later on. It's not the best work, but as long as it doesn't move around, it's totally fine. Uh, let's see, I did manage to plug this in, the CD, uh, the CD drive connector on the bottom of the board. Um, so now we can install this, hopefully, with no screw, because we don't have any screws for this. So let me go ahead and put this, you know, on and uh, see if we can get uh, to Windows. Alright, so I managed to put everything back together, except for the DVD drive. It just, it would just not go in. Uh, I think there's something wrong with the plug or something, but that doesn't really matter. Um... Let me see if I can open this up. There's the laptop. As you can see, it is pretty dirty. You know, look at the outside. It was, I don't know how long it was uh, out in the sidewalk. SSD's in there. The four gigs of uh, RAM that I had is in there. Uh, now we're just gonna see if, uh, if this works. Um, I'm gonna plug it in. Oh, plug it in from the other side. Hopefully we got a free laptop right here and I can just buy a battery or something. 
plugged in. We got power there. Click the power button. Let's see what we get. It looks like a 15 inch or 14 inch, I think. 14, probably a 15 inch laptop here. Let's see if I can hit the power button again. I hear stuff happening. Oh, there goes the CPU. Let's see what we get. There's the CPU again. There you go. Display on. Dell. Hopefully, uh, it goes to the SSD. Okay. Please run setup. Okay, this happened already. Uh, we already know we don't have the right. I don't know why it's zero watt power adapter. Who cares? I'm just gonna hit continue and see if we can load into Windows. Hopefully. Oh, there it is. Freaking awesome. Free laptop. Holy cow. I could just add another stick of RAM, buy a battery, freaking hot glue everything I need in there, and then, I don't know, probably a Velcro. I have no idea how to put it back. It's in place. The, it has clips in the bottom, so it won't come apart, but, you know, it's pretty solid. I I, 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 I just need to buy a battery, I think, and uh, I think I should be good, but look at that. It works. I mean, I could just use it as a plug-in laptop, too. I don't have to buy a battery. Just keep it plugged in and you know move it around that's pretty cool um that's pretty crazy free laptop just sitting in the sidewalk usually when i find stuff like this um i don't make videos of them i just what i do is if it's like taken apart or if, i don't know if it's working or not i just put everything in the computer you know even if even if i don't know if it works i just if it's missing something, I just install it, you know, and then power it on and see what's up. But this one, I just wanted to install everything if I had it. I did have DDR3. Um, it, the Wi-Fi card, I think, is in there that works. I don't know. I had an SSD that I took off from my computer over here. I just put it in there. And uh, there you go. Look at that. I'm checking if the Wi-Fi adapter works that was on there. It looks like it does. I'm going to connect to it. Oh, shoot. It is very, very slow. I don't know if it's the, the SSD. The SSD I installed is very cheap. It was like a $20, um, $20 SSD from Amazon. Uh, so it's probably really slow. But it boots. So I want to see what kind of CPU we got. So let's see. Oh shit, what was that? No, that's not what I want. Uh, let's see, task manager. There you go. Let's see what kind of CPU we got. This say we have an i3 in there. So I just want to see what we, which one exactly. It's very slow. I have no clue. Um, well, it could be RAM. We only have four gigs. Let's see, task manager. I might have to reinstall Windows. Uh, I did have drivers for like an older PC, a Core 2 Quad. Uh, the SSD I took uh, from the computer over here is a Core 2 Quad. So I'm just gonna reinstall Windows. Hopefully that fixes some slowness. Uh, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's just see what kind of CPU we got. Looks like we got a i3 505U. 2 gigahertz it is a two core four thread nice that is our memory four gigs and the disk 120 gigs and the wi-fi so the card does work so that's pretty cool all right i just want to show you guys that um yeah that's pretty crazy the the screen looks the screen looks clean there's no damage no scratches no dead pixels I don't know why someone would throw this away. You know, some people just have money, I guess. Uh, it was in a rich neighborhood when I was driving by there, so 
they probably just threw their stuff away, away probably older stuff uh, and they got newer stuff but hey another man's trash is another man's treasure or yeah I guess you can say that <laughs> anyways thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video bye